Hi, my name is Ruben Alves, and today we are going to see how to use Git in ROS Development Studio. If you are new to ROS Development Studio, you can come to this page, the Construct Scene, and click here on ROS Development Studio. You will have this page. You can sign in or sign up. When you sign in, you will see this page. In this page, we have here the list of your projects, the projects you have created previously, or you also have the list of private projects, I mean public projects, uh, with they are the projects already provided by the construct. So, in order to work with ROS Development Studio, we have to create a project. In this case, let's call working. Uh, with git for example or better git on rds a smaller name and it is a private just a, a git example the description we create we wait some seconds okay now we have here on our projects we have this git on rds we can just click here to open the project or call this or click here open project let's click here and wait until the system loads this project in this project I mean since you are going to work with git we are going to download a git repository in this case we have here a list of public simulations this ps means public simulations in this address, bitbox, check on user, the construct core, projects, public simulations, ps. And here we can download any of this simulation. So, if you come here to our RDS, I don't want to restore my previous windows, the organization. And here, we can open here a web shell, click here. Wait some seconds until it loads. It's connecting, and we also can open here the Cloud9. So, on the web shell, we can see here we have here the Catkin notebook and simulation workspace. If you want to download a simulation, we have to download in this simulation workspace. If you want the code, if you want to create a package that only contains code that controls the simulation, you should put on this Catkin workspace. Since we are going to download a simulation in this the Construct Public Simulations repository, we have to go to this simulation workspace. So, CD and on the source folder. Okay. Here on the IDE, we can see that the simulation, we only have this build, dev, and source folder, as we can see here. Okay, and on the source folder, we still don't have anything, o only the CMake. So, to use Git, we just need a repository. For example, let's download this parrot erdone i just copy this address for example copy link address i can open on a new uh, tab to see the the address so we just copy and let me close here and here we get clone as simple as that and the repository the address the parrot erdone we wait some seconds until the package downloads. Okay, it's ready. And here on the ID, we already can see here the par the parrot are drone. Now let's go to our workspace and cat can make to make sure everything is compiled. And let's wait until it compiles. As you can see, we have downloaded using Git on this public and on this simulation workspace. Now we are compiling, and when it's compiled, we are going to launch the simulation. 
let's wait until some seconds. In order to load the simulations, uh, we can come here on the tools. No, I can. We can come here on the simulations. On the simulations and click here, select launch file. You can launch. Let me put it here on the right side so you can see the the feedback here. The the process, the progress. I, if you want to test a simulation, you can run any of the simulations that are here already set or configured to run in RDS, ROS Development Studio. Or you can also run the launch files of the simulations that are in this simulation workspace. S if you check here, we have here mm, okay in this drone the construct for example we have here a launch folder with the main launch and intro launch. If I want to launch any of these launch files, I can just go to the to this let me do it here okay I can just come here to this launch select launch file and select one of the files that will be there but let's wait until it compiles we are already okay 100% here almost there okay package is compiled now if I come here on select launch file I can see the list of files that are there on this simulation that I have downloaded cloned with git I have here drone construct I want to run this drone construct main.launch for example just click here and launch after some seconds we should see here the simulation running here we we have the logs we can hide the logs if you don't want to see the logs and in the background you are going to see the simulation it's still loading so let's wait okay it's loading it's still connecting and as you can see here, it was compiled, we have downloaded with git, it appeared on our on our Cloud9 IDE. So everything here is connected. Here we can see and we are running now this main.launch file. This one, but let me close here. Now our simulation is loading, 90% loaded it's loading our environment almost there okay in the meantime while it's still loading the assets here let's clone also a code to move the robot in this case we are going to clone a repository that con that contains a learning algorithm and the repository that you can download, it's free, is this bitbug.org, the construct called drone training, drone training. Let's copy here. In this case, this repository doesn't contain any simulation. It's just the code to control the simulation. So, in this case, instead of, instead of download on this simulation workspace, it must be on this catkin workspace. As you can see, we have these three no the three workspaces and the catkin workspace we have the code to control the robots and on the simulation the simulation packages. Let's enter on the catkin workspace source folder and clone. Git cloning the name of this drone training. Mm, not the right name. Let me copy here the address drone training we can just copy here okay we can check here on the IDE that's going to be shown here on the catkin workspace source folder drone training is already here now let's compile our code let's go to the catkin workspace and catkin make 
uh, while it's still compiling, this code I have cloned is basically a drone training, is a reinforcement learning algorithm applied for robotics. In this case, we are going to use this this package drone training to make the robot reach some goal and and fly in a really low I mean really low for example not a high well I don't know the word now but anyway if we can see here we have a launch file and a main dot launch since in this case we we have to launch this launch this main launch file and in this case we don't have a simulation so instead of going here and select a launch file because uh, now we are going on the catkin workspace we are interested in this main launch file we can just go to the web shell directly and call the name of our package for example host launch and our package is drone training drone training and the, the file is main.launch launch let's check here the simulator to see what happens this is a learning algorithm so the robot is probably not going to move very well but it's because it is going to learn it's a learning algorithm so let's see here Mm, the robot should start moving. Or let me check. I probably have launched. Okay, it's already there. The robot's trying to learn how to navigate to a to somewhere. If you want to see more details about this code specifically, this drone training. We can check here, I'm going to leave the link on the description of this video But we can check the this link, the construct scene using OpenAI ROS Here we have all the description of this code of this package drone training that I have cloned And uh, as you can see here, it's really easy to run to learn to use Git on RDS and after you have done all your tests let's suppose I have done okay it's really done here and let's say you don't want to work anymore with RDS today in this case we can save your project in here for example when you hit it, save here on we you will have been saved this catkin workspace notebook workspace and simulation workspace we just hit save and get a name okay the project name is rds git on rds just save and okay wait some seconds and uh, your project will be available for you when you come back in here to rds in another day for example uh, it takes some seconds to save the project base depending on the size of the these folder for for example the catkin workspace notebooks and simulation workspace and while it's it, it's saving I can tell you that if you are new to ROS or you really want to learn ROS from zero we have developed this robot Gnat Academy platform here we can learn ROS basics in Python, C++, ROS navigation. You can learn really a lot about ROS. If you want to learn ROS, just give a try to robotinetacademy.com. And here, okay, the project is not saved. Okay, something went wrong here, but this is not normal. Anyway, if we, let's suppose everything was saved, we after everything is saved you can click save again or download the project as suggested on the on that message and we have to disconnect i mean terminate the remote computer where is this simulation is running 
by pressing here you will terminate and the time that you spent using the system it will stop it. and when you come back you will still have time to simulate to simulate in RDS so just hit this button and terminate yes terminate and that's it how easy to use git on RDS if you liked this video don't forget to subscribe our channel we are publishing videos like this every single day thank you very much for watching see you Thank you.